yesterday was Valentine's Day. I didn't do a Valentine's Day look. Um, I just didn't. <laughs> but today's my birthday. Hey, happy birthday to me. So I am getting ready to do birthday look. And um, since me and my husband are going out, you know, I can call it Valentine slash birthday look, you know, right? Um, so I'm going to tell you what I do know. If I can find the earrings that I want to wear. Because I'm kind of based in what I want to do off of these earrings and off of my glasses. Now, I've worn these glasses before. But I just want to do something really, like colorful some purple maybe maybe some pink maybe some gold not really anything new per se but just that's just what i want to wear so i can't find the earrings right now when i find them i'll show you but these are the colors of the glasses that i am potentially going to wear my drawer is a mess so you know whatever right oh here they are so these are the these are the uh these are the earrings that I want to wear. These glasses. You see where I'm going? You see where I'm going? So that's what I want to do. So I need to get my eyebrows together. And um, just get everything situated. So once I do that, I shall return. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So I am back. Um, I wish you could know how long it took me to get back to you guys, but you don't. <laughs> so anyway, the only way you would know is if I kept the camera rolling, right? So I never really use these cream concealer things that I have. So I want to use some. So I have Dominica and I have Belize. And so I'm actually using those to highlight and do my eyebrows. And I actually already did this side off camera um and i've also been playing and don't worry about it been playing in color and in lipstick and stuff so this is kind of like the color palette that i'm going for because i'm wearing black i'm just gonna wear a black sweater and some pants or whatever um i'm going to bingo today i know that sounds like an old lady thing but that's what i want to do on my birthday you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get some chick-fil-a and I want to go to bingo. Now, tomorrow my husband got something planned, you know. But, hey, I don't know what that is. But that's what I wanted to do today on my birthday. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, let's just get to it. So, what I did was, oh, and I also used something new on my brows, too. It's not a new product. I've been had it. But it's the Eyebrow Pomade 03 Dark Brown. And this is Pharmacy makeup and this is what it looked like so i tried it on there in combination with the chocolate brown uh pencil so let's do what i did off camera so i've already brushed it so what i did was i went in with the um eyebrow stuff and I'm using the angle of the brush to just follow the direction that the hairs are going. That's basically what I'm doing. You see? So, yep, following the direction of the hairs is what I did to darken it. And you can always extend it. Down if you want that's what I did that's what I did so you see how when you do that now it doesn't have much shape so I think I'm good with that but now I'm gonna come in and um, use the pencil kind of like line it back up Oh, I suck with my left hand. Let's just try this. Okay. 
and align it. Lining as best I can because I'm coming in working so well. And I actually did both. Okay. So I just kind of brush that in. And I keep my shape. This is starting to look a little more rounded. I'm not liking that, but I'm moving on with the concealer. Okay, yeah, this is Dominica. And this is a cream versus a liquid. I don't remember if I've ever used it up here like this. Cut that off a little bit. Let's cut it off a little bit right here, too. Now I'm looking at it. Alright. Okay, my mirror. So now I'm going to go on the top with it as well. Just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Now I tend to like a little bit li uh, lighter color down here, but darker color at the top. But today, I just want to try it out. Let's see. A little bit more at the top. So coming soon, I'm gonna be doing my one of my best friends, Stephanie. I'm gonna be doing her makeup, and then I'm going to be doing my mom's um, makeup again and hair and all that good stuff. So that's coming down the pipeline. I feel like that is going to be as good as it get. I'm not feeling this brow today. Normally, I'm always liking this one, but, you know, whatever. That's what it's going to be. I'm not going to do too much more than that. Except, what I did on the other side is... Make sure I got my color. Yep, the leaves. Is I took my beauty blender that's damp. I need to be a little bit more damp. Though. And I went ahead and buffed that out. Well, this side I did. I'm going to have to do it again. Buff it out just a teeny bit. Just a teeny bit. Not much. Okay, and then I came back in with the Belize on the tip, and I'm literally taking a tip and doing like that, and coming back underneath, and kind of do just like a, a lighter, thin line. Come on now. Cause I just want that to be a little bit more highlighted. Okay, so there's that. I did it to this side already, but there we go. So that's good enough. I might use those again in this look. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna move on because 
it's already one something and I just want to get out and enjoy the, uh, the day and just get some fresh air. We kind of, we really didn't sleep in per se, but we just kind of been lounging around. I got in the shower and just, you know, took care of myself and then I laid back down and watched some TV. <laughs> was on social media a little bit, of course. But uh, for the most part, we just been chilling today. So I said, let's go. Let's get out of here. We were going to go to the mall. And that's why Chick-fil-A came into mind because my husband wanted to try that some pizza place inside Kenwood Mall. And I didn't want that. So I was like, well, I'll just grab Chick-fil-A. So now I don't know that we're going to the mall now. But Chick-fil-A stuck. <laughs> That's what I want. You know what I'm saying? Something simple. You ain't got to be crazy. You know. Now, what I would love to do sometime soon is go to dinner with my family. So, you know. Hopefully, that will happen soon. I'll have to talk to my husband and have him take care of that. <laughs> yeah, no. If I still decide to. So I'm taking this up pretty high because I don't know how far I'm going to go up. But we'll see. Because I'm using pink and some type of bronzy, bronzy gold and purple. I really wanted to uh, stick out today. Okay, so I know it's going to change the color, but I really need to put some powder on that. It's just a little bit of powder. Actually, I'm gonna use the same thing and just set that with some powder. Less creasing that way. It might still crease because my eyes go up, but it'll be less. We're just setting that with a little powder, a little powder. Okay, so now we can get to the look. Okay, and I'll set this powder to the side for later. I'm telling y'all, I'm tired. I stayed up late. I don't know what I thought I was doing. <laughs> I stayed up late, honey. I sure did. I should have carried my butt to sleep. But in the infamous words of my husband, I was having a true off night. <laughs> That's what we call it when we stay up super late. You're like, you're having a true off night, huh? Yep. A true off night. Because typically I would work today, but I took off. Um, I've been off Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm off tomorrow, too. And so this week, I work Thursday and Friday. I'm just cleaning this brush off that I want to use. Um, I go back to work Thursday, Friday. Then I'm off Saturday, Sunday. And then the holiday is Monday. So I'm off Monday and I go back Tuesday. So um, I really didn't mind. Going back to work Thursday and Friday, I can I can hear y'all now saying, well, why didn't you just take off the whole week? I'm like, well, because I can use that time somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing nothing. I'm working from home at the time being, so. All right, so I got this brush pretty good. This is a, this is the Morphe brush that, um, that I like. 
Um, and it's not as compacted because I want to kind of like lightly put on the pink first. I want it to be heavy, but I want to see. So I'm going to do pink, pink, um, that bronze, and then purple. So I'm going to swirl it in, get the color in the brush, tap it off. And then just get that color on. Lightly at first. I want to kind of like blend it out actually as I go. Being mindful to keep my eyebrow raised so I can maximize my space there because I haven't like that open it up, but I do need to check it. I actually like that so far. So let's blend it out. Blend it out just a little bit more. I'm not really sure how much of this pink is going to stay showing, but this is my base that I'm going to start with. Moving on to the next eye. Definitely the base I want to start with. So I just want my eyes to be really bright and popping today. You know what I mean? Just like bright. Since I'm wearing dark colors. Probably just a black sweater and some jeans. I was going to wear black pants, but I don't feel like it. You know. Dang, my ankle popped. It's okay. Okay, so I'm going to get into that bronze color. Buff that out right there a little bit. Okay. So I forgot to tell you where I was using this. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> this is the Zulu palette. Juvia's. That's the um, like fuchsia pink that I'm using. I might go back into that, but for now, I, there's no other color I need out of that. Um, this is the Warrior 3 Juvia's palette. And the purple that I want is this purple right here. It says it's called Candace. And then I'm going to the Nubian 2 palette. And I am using the Yeah, Y-A-A. It's like a bronze. So that's the color I'm going in. I'm going to just use the same brush. And sweep that color right, right in here. Just sweep it right in here. Just sweeping it. And I'm going to switch brushes when I get to the purple, though. More compact. Definitely going to have to blend that out at the top more. But for now, this is what we looking like. Yeah, because I'm losing some pink. And I'll put that back. So I'm going to switch brushes. And I'm going to go into my purple. This is a e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow C brush. And it's this one. 
second one, purple right in here. Wanted to get in the inner corner a little bit with the purple and just kind of right hanging out right there. I need up just a tad bit higher because I'm using black liner for my lash glue. I'm going to cover this up with that bronze. I don't really want that sticking out too much like that. Okay. Alright, so let's go back into the bronze really quick. And I'm just going to sweep. All that purple in over top of the purple a little bit. Just a little bit over the purple, not too much. Just the top part of that. Okay, I'm gonna clean this brush slightly and I'm going back into the pink to actually I think let me see yeah let's use this brush this is it doesn't say what brush it is oh no hold on y'all hold on girl hold on because oh yeah I just opened this okay cool because I want to this is a crayon case zero one I want to go in that pink and blend it out a little bit more at the top. Blend that out. A little bit more at the top. I'm really feeling that. I like this side more. I feel like it's more controlled with the blend, but we'll get there over here. Okay. And once I clean it up, it'll look better. But that's what we're going for with the eyes. And I think that's pretty spot on to that. That's what I was going for. I like that. All right, so let's move on to complexion. Let me get these put up. Uh oh. Okay, so let's do some concealer. I did prime. I did not forget the prime. Um, I use that uh, Hydro Grit, the Milk Hydro Grit. So just wanted to let you know that I did prime. Now I was gonna go in with my my um my Ethiopia I Am Magic Foundation from Juvia. But I want to go back in time here to my pharmacy. And I want to mix these two colors together. Okay, this is zero, zero 08. And I don't know what this is. But I want to mix these two together. For my foundation and I'm going to put it right on the back of my hand do like two pumps of this one and do one pump 
uh, maybe a half pump, one and a half pumps of that. Now, this is probably going to be too much, but I'm going to lose a lot of it, um, mixing it up and stuff like that. So I'm not quite ready for it yet. I'm going to go in with some concealer under my eyes first. I'm going in with this. And I'm going to take it out. Stretch it out. Kind of make a little crisp under there. At the end. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that worked on in. I just can't believe I'm 37 years old, y'all. 37. Do I look 37? I don't think so. Do I feel 37? What is 37 supposed to feel like? <laughs> I don't feel no different. Than I did when I turn. Well, let me not say that. I do feel different. I feel more mature and more um, confident, and you know those things like that. But I don't feel old, if you will, except for when my knee be hurting me. Like ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but um, I don't feel old. You know what I mean? And I don't feel like I look old either. So that's a plus. That's a blessing. Uh, you know, but. People say, oh, I feel old, you know. Nah, honey. I feel like you are as old as you feel, as you believe you are, you know. As you believe you are. And so, forever young. How about that? I want. I don't want to be young in wisdom and uh, young in life experience. But my, I want my body to be limber. So, you know what I mean? Continue to be. You know, <laughs> so there's that. I'm going to put a little powder right there. Right in those areas. Just a little bit because I'm still putting foundation on. And I'm using a different blend today. Just right in here where I conceal it. Get that time to do what I need to do. Actually, I'm going to set my face real quick. Just a little bit. Get a little moisture going on. It's not much. Okay, so I'm going to take my brush. Complexion brush. And which one is this? This is the powder brush. Okay. So I'm going to mix this. I'm going to hold the brush tight. Mix it in. See what color it's giving us. Okay. Kind of like a golden color. Let's see. Because, of course, I hadn't been getting a lot of sun. Only thing about using a brush is you lose a lot of color. Or a lot of foundation on your brush, in my opinion. I feel it going on because it's wet, but 
I still feel like I lose some some color. I'm gonna take my beauty blender with the rest of it and go in here. Just go in with the beauty blender over over that. I think that looks pretty good. It's a pretty good match. You know? Pretty good match overall. Okay. You know? Some concealer. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, I found it. I found my contour palette. Let's use it. Let's do a little bit of this bricky. This is from Crayon Case. This color right here, up here. Put a little color back up in there. And then that. This way, they say make a C. I mean a, a three with this. And I'll come around here. I don't see nothing. See y'all? I might have to go a little darker. But up in here. And come around here. So that's what I've heard. Then I'm going to take a thinner uh, brush and go for the eyebrow. And down the side of the nose. And a lighter color in the center. I don't know what this I don't know that this is doing anything in my opinion, but you know, whatever, right? I'll try it out. I'm going to put powder all over my whole face anyway. So that's what we're looking like so far. I think it looks good. What y'all think? Think it looks good? You know? And I'm going to take this trophy up here. A little up in here. I don't want to do too, too much, but just a little bit. Just above. Okay. Oh yeah, I really see it over that eye. Okay, I see it. See it right there. A little something, something. Okay. I feel like I need it to be just a tad bit. I'll be back. I'm gonna go look in the mirror in the bathroom. One second. Okay, I'm actually glad I went and looked in the bathroom <laughs> because I don't know. I thought it was me. But as of lately, 
this lighting situation is not given and it may not look extremely dark to you but then when i go to the bathroom it looks much darker so we're gonna leave that alone <laughs> i'm not redoing it it doesn't look bad it just looks darker than what i thought it was gonna look like because i was going in because i didn't see it but it's fine right cool so let's go in with some powder uh yeah this right here got a bunch of folks wishing me happy birthday thank you so much i appreciate you I still got to get dressed. It shouldn't take me long. Okay. So I got powder on. Let's do a little blush. And we're going to be good to go. Um, yeah. Okay. Going into this. Blushed. using my finger brush. Let's not use the fan brush, let's use this. That fan brush wasn't doing nothing. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. So, finishing things. Let's get some lashes on. Going into my Xena lashes. So I really like these. Just a teeny bit. Trying to get as close to my lash line as possible. Okay. That's not. I absolutely love these lashes. These are like my favorite ones. To be honest with you. They don't feel like super heavy once you have them on. I still struggle with this eye though. Not today. A couple of days, please. I'll be back when I'm old them on. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I got my lashes on. That was a struggle, <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. So I'm gonna do my lips and then I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and then I'll show you guys the finished result of what I'm gonna do today for the Valentine slash birthday look. Um, going in with Scorpion or Scorpio.
Okay. Now, I had a combination of lip that I was going to use. I was going to use, uh oh, I don't dropped it. I was going to use fruits and then that other one, but I think I'm just going to go with this one. Not because I dropped it, but because I think I'm just going to go with this one. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty. Yep, that's really pretty. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. And um, I'll come back with a complete look. You do. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is the finished result. Just wearing a black sweater and some jeans and some black boots. But this is, this is, uh, my inspiration was, was these earrings and these glasses. So this is um, my Valentine slash birthday look. So we're getting ready to go. Yeah, so thanks for hanging with me. I know this is an extremely long video, but hopefully for my birthday, you watch the video, like, subscribe, comment, you know, share with everybody you know. So thank you. Bye. Happy birthday to me. 37. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And thank you all for all the happy birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Happy birthday to me, 37. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And thank you all for all the happy birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Food. 